Hello Agents! In today's video I am continuing on from last week when I uploaded the Secret Hunters from Year 1 under Division 2. In this video I am going to be covering all the Secret Hunters that were added in the Year 2 expansion, Warlords of New York. I have done these in singular videos before but I am noticing more and more new players come into the game and I know a lot of them are unaware of these, so I thought it was a good time to put together a couple of new Hunter videos. Last week for the Year 1 Hunters I included the whole puzzle and I've shown you how these Secret Hunter spawns were even discovered. With the Year 2 Hunters, there was a lot of suggestion that the clues were found on newspaper articles that were scattered about New York. Some appeared to give clues for sure but none of them are anything like the ciphers that we had to decrypt in the year one hunters. Instead, people relied on the hunter static that lets you know you're near a hunter spawn and hundreds of people from the Division 2 Secrets Discord server scaled the map to look for leads before eventually solving each of these puzzles. A huge shout out to the people of the Division 2 Secrets server and if you would like to get involved in future puzzles be sure to check the link down in the video description. And before we start, please make sure that you hit like and share on this video to support it. And if you're new here, be sure to hit subscribe for more content from me. I practically live on a Division 2 and I've also built the best Division community on Discord. So once you are finished here, make sure that you check us out via the link down in the video description as well. I do have a few tips that will make these hunters very easy. Do not do them unless you have a strong player with you or you are in end game and you have an optimised build. These hunters will kill you very quickly and if you do die you may have to wait up to 24 hours in game to try again. And also set your world difficulty to normal, the hunters will die very quick this way, the higher the world difficulty the tougher the hunters. And finally these hunter puzzles can be done in any order and with a lot of these puzzles I will mention times. You can check out what time it is in game via the photo mode option. There are 8 hunter puzzles just like with year 1. 4 of these are in DC and 4 are in New York. We'll go through the DC hunters first starting with the construction hunter. You want to fast travel to Space Administration HQ and follow my route to find this button. This can be at any time of day and notice that it goes dark after you hit the button and a red light appears. You then need to travel to the north of the map to find this construction site. Press the button to start off the next part of the puzzle, but this has to be after 9pm in game. Once pressed, you need to hit all of these switches in the order that I do them before 5am in game. The hunter will spawn where you hit the first switch if done correctly. Your reward from this hunter is the camo hunter mask and an off-white key for the chest at Haven. Next is the after dark hunter puzzle and I don't think in game times matter. The first step to this is to find the national building museum ticket. Head to bank headquarters and then go north to this underground entrance to complete this step. 
You'll need to do as I do and shoot four hidden junction boxes before hitting a switch that spawns an enemy in who will have this ticket. The next step may not be needed, but to have access to the After Dark building, you must interact with an NPC at this location to unlock a secret side mission that will open that building for you. Once that side mission is unlocked, you'll have access to the After Dark building shown here. Just go inside, interact with the laptop and the hunter will spawn in. The hunter will drop the carbon hunter mask and an off-white key. The generator hunter puzzle is next and for this you'll need to find two Christmas presents. This can be at any time of day and you can get them in any order. Head south of the White House to find this one. Okay. 
you will get generate a one key out of it and generate a two key can be found in a present just west of district union arena hostile broadcast picked up this fight isn't about saving america just take a look at this fucking city there's nothing to feel patriotic about you will then find this Christmas market just south of District Union Arena and after 9pm in game you'll be able to turn on the two generators here with those keys. There are switches attached to each generator that need to be interacted with two before one final switch that will spawn in two hunters. be rewarded with an off-white key and a drama on weirdo hunter masks for killing both of these hunters. The final hunter puzzle in DC is a long one and your first task is to find six pairs of lion eyes that can be done at any time of day. They can be got in any order and the first pair I'll show you are here on the map up near the new Venice control point. All pairs of lion eyes are found in refrigerators and this pair is in one that is in the donut shack. The next pair can be found inside of the Riverside gas station control point. Detected. Nearby location. Guarded by hostiles. Supply room access. Unlocked. Yes. Head north of the White House near to the vault control point to find the third pair in Kobe's restaurant. Just north of the final Epiphany safe house is a burger bar with a fourth pair of lion eyes in.
The fifth pair can be found just west of District Union Arena in this noodle bar. And then the final pair can be found just north of the Archive safe house in this Kerman coffee shop. A hostile control point detected. Once you have all six pairs, you need to make your way to this location just south of DCD headquarters. There'll be two lion statues here and four more nearby that you need to place the lion eyes in. They have to be in order and then the lion statue will point you in the right direction after each one. Just follow the order that I do them now and the hunter will spawn after the sixth one. This can be done at any time. Detected. Near the location. Guarded by hostiles. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Broadcast detected. This is a warning to the division. Back the hell up before you get yourself killed. You have no idea who you're dealing with. <laughs> This hunter drops the Angel Hunter mask and an off-white key. Moving on to the New York Hunter puzzles and we're going to be starting with the Pia Hunter. This is very time specific and you first want to head to this location to find and interact with a switch between 5.30am and 7am. 
You heard a bell if done correctly. Next, just fast travel to the Trinity Church to interact with a touchscreen. This has to be done between 7am and 6pm. You'll hear a bell again to confirm. And then after 9pm but before 5am, you need to come to this location on the pier and shoot the yellow junction box under the bell tower. The hunter will spawn in. Once you take him down, you'll get the neurotic hunter mask and an off-white key. Next up is the skull hunter puzzle, and this has no time restrictions. Come to this location on the map for task 1. You're looking for the UDBG building, and you want to interact with a washing machine in the back with a post-it note on. It has the number 23 written on. The lights will flicker and you'll see the red hunter light. Task 2 takes you just north of the residential building safe house and you need to shoot a junction box to gain access to a hidden room and then collect a fuse. Your next task is to head back to the UDBG building to place the fuse and interact with the washing machine again to get an apartment key 23 out of it. Head upstairs to apartment 23 and interact with the text on the wall. Nearby. 
going back out onto the street, follow my route now to find a burnt body that you have to interact with. Civilians in danger. You are now ready for the final task which is spawning in two hunters. You'll need to head to this burning skull that is just north of the derailed control point, interact with a dead body on the ground and the hunters are going to spawn in. Once these hunters are dead, you'll get the dripping psycho hunter masks as well as an off-white key. The Memorial Plaza hunter is next, and you need to make your way to this location on the map. Notice all the flagpoles and make sure that it is after 9pm in game. Your first task is to just interact with the generator, and you'll see the lights turn on in the center to confirm that you can move on to step 2. Step 2 is to collect 4 missing flags for the flagpoles. You have no time limit and can take as long as you need. You can also get them in any order. Head to the food bank safe house to find a flag just outside. just south of your last location and at Pier 26 is another flag. find another flag at the waterfront control points. <laughs> 
to get access to the final flag I'm going to show you, you'll need to take control of the Celebration Hotel control point in order to shoot off a lock on a door that will give you access to the flag. Supply room access unlocked. The final task is to head back to the first location and raise the four missing flags. If you have all of these raised before 5am, you can hit the generator again and spawn in the hunter. If it has gone past 5am, then you will need to wait for 9pm again, but your progress is saved. At 9pm, just hit the generator and the hunter will spawn. This hunter drops a Divide Hunter mask and an off-white key. The final hunter puzzle for this video guide is another long one and it has you fighting four hunters. Your first task is to find four Christmas trees and get a console key. This can be done at any time but I suggest that you get it done before 9pm in game. And to start this task off you need to find a laptop in this location to interact with it. Just south of Pathway Park is the first Christmas tree. I do believe that they need to be hit in this order and you must shoot the star on top of the tree. The star will glow orange to confirm but it is hard to see in daylight. Just down the road from the first and still near Pathway Park is the second tree. Fast travel to the Trinity Church safe house to find the third Christmas tree.
final Christmas tree is just east of Wall Street in this location. If all have been done correctly, then after shooting this star you'll hear an alarm sound and you must interact with the Christmas present to get the console key. You must start again from tree 1 if there's no alarm sound. For step 2 you want to travel to the Christmas market at this location. After 9pm in game you need to interact with the console and you'll see a red light. Fast travel to the residential building safe house and you'll need to shoot 6 targets. These must be done in the order that I do them and if they pop back up then you have done something wrong and will have to wait till 9pm again the next day to start again from the console. The last two of these six targets are back here near to the Christmas market. All six targets need to be done before 5am. Once all six are done there are six more targets to shoot but you have to wait for daytime. Officially this counts from after 7am but when I first did this the targets popped back up multiple times when I shot them just after 7. If they pop back up at this point you have to wait until 9pm and start again from targets 1 to 6. What we do is wait until after 9am in game and we have never had any issues. So after 9am shoot targets 7 to 12 in this order and then go back to the console again to interact and spawn in the four hunters. Control point nearby.
detected. Friendly okay. control point in proximity. Once you are defeated, you'll get the Lucky, Paranoid, Trip, and Veil Masks. You will also get the final off-white key. Once all of these puzzles are done, you're going to have 8 off-white keys and you'll be able to open the Lock Loot Crate at Haven. Your award from this crate will be a named Hunter Killer chest piece with Perfect Intimidate on. You'll also get the full black weapon skin. This chest piece will also now be on sale at Cassie Mendoza and you'll be able to get different roles every time she resets. And this is the end of the video. Remember that last week I covered the year one hunters and that is linked down in the video description if you missed it. Don't forget to hit like and share on this video and be sure to subscribe if you are new. And now we are done with the video, go and check out my community that is also linked down in my video description. Until next time, thank you all for watching this. Stay safe and peace out.